Welcome everybody to our tutorial number four. Uh, on this tutorial uh, we're going to trim, cut, extend uh, some of those structural members that we created on tutorial number three. So let's get started. First thing first, uh, make sure you're actually on the structures layer and as long as you're in the structure layer, you remember this uh, indicates that you are uh, what's your current layer and so last time we drew this structural member at the top we made this three structures, structural members, um, individual members. So what we're going to do is delete this four that I have selected. So just uh, select them by clicking on them and just press delete. And they're gone. And first thing we're going to learn how to uh, lengthen a member. So uh, let's, so under the structure palette, under cutting, you would see there is a button called lengthen member go ahead and click that let's read what's on the command prompt here it said uh, select the structural member or delta or total so we're gonna choose the total um, so what we're gonna define is uh, what's the total length of the structural member that we want so uh, for my case as you can remember the grid was 12 meters long so I'm just gonna enter 12,000 millimeter press enter and here is a important point so on AutoCAD usually when you're lengthening or cutting a member um, the half that you click on when selecting the member to extend or cut it's the half that um, is the end that the extension or the cutting happens so there we go so now you can see let's escape to get out now you can see very nicely that it's one single structural member and we have just extended it let's escape to get out of it uh, and now I'm going to show you how to do uh, extend a member okay so let's go ahead and um, actually this is kind of useful to be in line mode because you need to select points let's go in line mode okay perfect so we're going to select um, extend member so that's under structure cutting extend member and then this little uh, command, well actually dialog window opens up. Um, go ahead and select the three point because I find that one the easiest. You can also do it to a certain plane, but it gets entirely too complicated that way. Just choose the three point. So all you have to do, uh, select a three point so you can define a plane that your structural member would extend to. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this point, this point, and this point and now it's going to ask me to select my structural member so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and it extends itself okay awesome let's take a look at the shape mode perfect it looks really good okay so those are very useful little tricks to have and I'm going to show you another quick little thing that I've learned the hard way um, sometimes what you will find just because each of these members are justified by their um, like their middle point on the middle of their web um, that's what the other members would extend to or that's where the grid is so here uh, let's first say you wanted this member this this highlighted member all the way to the edge of your column you could do a lot of things change the justification of your members which I will show you later how to do but the easiest way is once you select it at the end you'll see a little grip and once you snap onto it it will tar turn orange or some sort of color so just drag it and as long as you have orthographic restrictions on you can drag it to the edge that you want it to extend it and kind of snap onto that point and press or click on it click your mouse button and now it's nicely extended all the way to the end okay so we're going to do that on all these corners because that is going to help us out quite a bit again doesn't matter which way you're looking at it you can always select that little and we can extend it and click and it's extended let's look at the other point again doesn't matter what your view is you can still select it through the 3d object here as long as this is the only thing that's selected I should be able to just snap onto it and go to the go to the plane that I wanted to extend it to or any edge really um, usually it's easy because there's a lot of other structural members there let's extend this one as well why not we'll extend it to this edge perfect now 
let's do some mitering cuts. So we're gonna apply mitering cuts to our um, very the top corners over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's get started. Um, again, under the structure palette and cutting, you will find miter cut members. Go ahead and select that. And all you really have to do is select to, uh, well, if you read your command prompt, it says um, align edges, gaps, those are extra options. You can click on it and explore them yourself. But most of the time, all you're going to be doing is selecting, selecting the first object and then the second object, and they will miter themselves. Okay, let's do this corner, first object, second object, perfect. And as you can see, you can do multiple objects this way too. Second object, perfect. In that case, I suppose we did really didn't need to extend the other member, but um, it was just a good thing to show you guys so you know it for the future. Okay, perfect. And uh, now that our mitering cuts are done, now we're going to learn how to um, cut back members because as you can see, this is our main structural uh, beam going across and all this, um, the inner beams here uh, are kind of have interruptions with the main one. So we're going to do here a cut back members. So uh, again, under structure, cutting, click cut back members and here first thing it asks you to do is limit uh, select the limiting member so it's the member that is going to limit the other members that you want to cut or uh, or, or, or cut back so go ahead and select this member and you'll be highlighted and then again go back to your uh, command prompt and it says select structural member to cut so we're gonna select this one first and then you keep on doing it as many as you need on this case let's go ahead and do this one as well and let's go ahead and do this one and this one okay hopefully oh no those two didn't cut I suppose we'll have to here is a point where um, it's not cutting it's simply because uh, the justification is beyond that point so easiest way to do is you can also grab the snap-on point and grab it to a edge any edge really how about we grab it to that edge perfect done okay and here it didn't cut as well okay let's give it a try again and now we'll select this member oh now it works again okay so I will show you one more time because we're gonna have to go ahead and do that for the other side cut back members select your limiting members nice ask you to select the members to cut we're gonna go ahead and cut this one and that one and here's a little bug even after you get out sometimes uh, the limiting members stay selected uh, I don't know why it just happened so uh, the easiest way to get rid of it is select another member and click back to that member and press escape don't ask me sometimes it just happens that way oh it still didn't cut select that member and click that member okay perfect now it works and next thing we're going to do is uh, well it's pretty much the same thing over and over again so I'll leave it up to you guys uh, so what you need to do is go back and um, go ahead cut or somehow bring your columns down to the bottom of your uh, beams there so do that to all of them and at the very bottom bit uh, here what we're going to do as you can see there's a lot this ones are this ones are going into your column so are these ones so cut them all back so they're at the uh, extreme edges of the column so this one I'll do a quick little quick little example this one see here it's a kind of it will be limited to this edge you can do that or cut them back whichever suits your need and go ahead and do those all and on the next session uh, I'll show you how to put some uh, grating or some plates on uh, so we can create some surfaces uh, to put our equipment or walking area on so um, see you guys next time